Beautiful fish. So that's Daryl, my emotional support pelican, out here fishing with me this morning. Just uh, got the camera on. I've been on it for about 15 or 20 minutes though. Got my poles out and it seems to be a very popular beach today. Super calm. <clears throat> I'm using blanched sand fleas because my local beach doesn't have any at the moment and my local beach store doesn't have any at the moment. So I'm using shrimp, fish gum, and blanched sand fleas. And we just got started. So it's about two hours after full high tide. And uh, here to do a couple hours of fishing. All right, first bite of the day. Don't know what's on it yet. Got a little bit of bounce. Whatever it is, it's on top. Oh, uh, maybe a meow, but he's pulling a little hard. It may have come off. Maybe not. Nope. Look at that. A little puppy drum. But killed the skunk. That's what matters. And it looks like he took my flea. There you go, buddy. Go back and oh you're a mama. You got eggs coming out. Nothing special, but a nice little drum. Let's put you back in the water. Rebate, put it back out. So this morning, it's been a little slow, but I have confirmed that blanched sand fleas do get bit. So that's good news. But uh, if things don't change here in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and move up the beach a little bit. We'll see what happens. So I moved up the beach a little bit and uh, I'm rebaiting <clears throat> and I learned something. So I don't know if you can see that or not, if I got the camera aligned correctly. But that's a Blanche sand flea. And uh, the thing that I learned is that uh, they got to be thawed. Uh, if not, as soon as you put it on the hook, it just breaks apart. You can't even get it casted out. But if you'll see, I'm going right through that paddle. And even though these are blanched, once they're thawed, they bait just like a normal flea. Or just like a live flea. I did catch a drum earlier on it. This is one of my middle length floor rods, as far as uh, casting distance goes. Only got a two ounce weight on it, but it's a long shank weight. It'll hold out there. Gonna try to get out past that first trough, or actually into the second trough. Keep an eye on my other poles, and let's see what we can do. And I don't know if you saw that, but that flea just came straight off. As Soon as I cast it, that flea came off. So, I will admit that these aren't quite thawed yet, but uh, I don't know if you can see it way out there, but there's a dolphin jumping, something jumping big out there. Um, but I think the jury is still out on Blanche Sampleys, although I did catch that drum on one. But you can see, hopefully, that flea came off as soon as I cast it. So we will give it another whirl. See if I can't get one to stay on. But we'll have to see how well these work out. Because right now, I don't know. But again, right through the paddle. 
right out the back. And try to do as little damage as possible. But if this one falls off, I'm going to go back to shrimp until uh, those fleas are good and thawed. Yeah, those are dolphins jumping out there. Guy on the paddleboard is right next to them. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, that one stayed on pretty good. Good morning. So again, I don't know uh, <clears throat> how well we're going to be able to see it on camera, given how the sun is sitting right now. But that guy that paddle boarding in, he's paddle boarding amongst a, uh, you see the dolphins right out there. There's a little pot of dolphins. And of course, this guy's going to come right across my line because unfortunately, there's just not enough open beach for people to surf and paddleboard. They they're, they're forced to do so right in front of the uh, fishing rods. I kind of feel bad for them not having about 23 miles of beach to surf and paddleboard on. But anyway, straight out there where I'm looking, and again, there you see a little spout. Maybe I'll be able to do some zooming in or clearing up or white balancing or whatever. I'm still learning this whole... Uh, camera thing but uh, there is definitely a lot of dolphin action going on out there this morning there's another little poof so there's more than one they're out there hunting again I don't know how well it comes across the camera something that far away but uh, there's quite a few dolphins out there swimming around All right, not a huge bite, but a bite. Given the uh, morning I've had, I'm not complaining. I have noticed over the last few weeks that uh, the fish seem to be doing better at mid to low tide. Normally you would get them all on the high tide, but uh, that hasn't been the case. I'm actually getting a little bit of a fight. What do we got here? Little jump a second ago. Keep an eye on my other poles and make sure I'm not getting crossed up. It's actually pulling a little drag. Of course, I got it set really loose. Yep, I am definitely wound up on my other rod. And looks like I lost that fish in the process. It's almost as if I knew it was going to happen. Let me go ahead and rebate this whole rod. So I'm putting shrimp on the bottom. A little piece of fish gum. I've been going back and forth between fish gum and fish bites. And honestly, I haven't really seen a big difference between them as far as bites go. What I do know is that fish bite stays on significantly longer. Um, but the price you pay is that it's almost impossible to get off without a pair of scissors. By the way, you see that blackness in there? That means this one was dead when I blanched it, so we'll see if uh, it still works. All right, this is my far pole. I'm trying to get far out anyway. Let's see if that uh, flea survives the cast. That one did not go very far at all. In fact, it's probably sitting on that sandbar. But I can't see because of the sun in my eyes. Even with the glasses on, that sun is bright. Set my drag. Go address my middle pole.
Morning. Like yeah. Too small to get hooked though. Looks like. All right, got a nice big bite. Second one in about 10 minutes. I don't know how hard it's fighting though. Although it is going up the beach, this could be why I'm here. I have a good feeling. I don't know what it is though. Yep, there's a pump. Whoa, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I'm here. Definitely a keeper. If I can keep Daryl away from it. Go on, Daryl. And he took the flea. So the Blanche fleas definitely catch popping up. Go on, bud. That one's not for you. Nice pump. Wow, wash job just so you jump back into the mud. All right, there we go. Get the sun on it. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. I'm going to measure them just so for the recording. That's a 12 inch ruler and the fork is hanging off the end of it. So we are definitely in the money. No, go on, go on. I'll give you that little whiting in a second. All right, you want a whiting? Come on, come on, dude. I got one for you. I was gonna catch a snook with it, but since you're here. There. There you go. Go get a drink of water so you don't choke on it. Yep. Oh, I got another bite in the middle again. But it doesn't seem to have kept biting. I'm gonna go ahead and rebate my pump hook over here. Get it back out there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put double fleas on. You got some breakfast. <laughs> yeah, you did. You got breakfast and I got dinner. Yeah, something small is on that middle pole. All right, that bait's on the bottom still good, so I'm gonna leave it in there. I'm gonna go right back where I was before, which oddly enough is right out there. I don't know if you can see that foamy area, but that's where I was. I'm gonna recast that. No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it right where it is. I'm gonna check this one. Short pole. So I got two 6,000 reels, a 4,000 reel, and a 2,500 right here. And this one always comes in real close. And believe it or not, I have caught snook, big drum, 
may be on this. Nope. Doesn't look like it. May have waited too long to pick it up. Yeah, it took my shrimp. The flea's still in good shape, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. Well, the plan before Daryl showed up was to use that little whiting. I have a snook rig over there, but uh, I mean, he's hanging out with me. I might as well feed him every now and then, right? And normally, what you just saw me do, I don't do. Normally, I toss it out in the water a little bit, but uh, I just needed to get it over with this time. So interesting topic, I don't know if you guys saw what I was doing, but I uh, stick my finger through the gale plates. I bleed everything I catch. Every fish I catch gets bled out. Um, I know there's a debate in some circles about whether or not that's required, but uh, that's what I do. So, everybody that eats my fish, there is no fishy taste. Alright, I'm just sitting here winding things up over and over and over. Hook through the finger. Alright, let's get this cast back out. Again, this one's real close. It's just barely out there. Boom. But that close, that close trough, that's where I get my whiting, that's where I get my drum, that's where I get snook, and I got a live piece of fish on there. Let's get this one back out. Only got about 45 minutes of fishing to do, so, or left anyway. So again, I put a little piece of shrimp. I salt my shrimp. I'm gonna do a video specifically about the gear I use and how I use it and why I do it. And Always interested in feedback. Nobody's watching these videos just yet anyway. I'm still, like I said, getting my bearings on it. But uh, I hope eventually make a little bit of a go of this thing. All right. And this one goes out a little further. Or farther. Just past that break. Right about where those waves coming in. You see how much the tide's gone out since I set up. I set up in the water when I got here and it has dropped a bunch. But again, they seem to bite mid to low tide. And uh, that just proved itself true again. All right. Everything tightened up again. Wash my hands. Oh look, that metal rod's bouncing again. So the fire rod, 6,000 rod, 12 foot pole. That is a 2,500 reel on a nine foot pole. This is a 4,000 reel on a nine foot pole. And that is another 6,000 reel on a 12 foot pole rod. Um, I use all Daiwa. Those are Daiwa emblem uh, rods and uh, Daiwa saltist reels. Um, if you haven't uh, watched one of my videos where I talk about Salt Strong, huge fan about, of Salt Strong. Um, I, the, the community is awesome and the people are awesome and uh, constantly learning from them. It's one of the number one areas I've learned from, not including Jonto and few others that I follow um, 
But uh, fishing's all about learning. In fact, life is all about learning. Just keep on learning. All right, I have just reset all four, rebaited them for the last cast of the day. I got maybe 10 or 15 minutes before I have to call it a day. There's Daryl over there checking out the stiletto. By the way, I'm gonna do a, a video in the next week or so showing my big fishing carp. But when I gotta get in and out quick, I have this little thing I made. Um, I actually won those wheels from Benjamin's. Um, great dude, highly recommend. I'll start tagging him in my videos. Um, those wheels are awesome. Um, but since I wanted an extra set, I didn't want him to go to waste. Drilled some holes in that ice chest, bolted some uh, PVC rod holders to the front of it, and I can carry all of my gear that I would carry on the big one. I just don't have my tying table and some of the uh, luxuries of not having to bend over. But uh, I am going to go into detail on them. Daryl loves standing by my fishing cart. The fish I caught today are in the ice chest, so he's, uh, I don't know what he's waiting on, but unless something else small comes up, he's not getting any more. Anyway, if I don't uh, do another recording today, it's because I didn't catch any more fish, and I wrapped up and called in the morning. Appreciate everybody watching, and uh, please offer feedback. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I need to do better. Especially if you're good at the video thing. Um, I'm using Final Cut Pro, and uh, there's definitely a learning curve. Anyway, aloha and mahalo for watching. Five minutes later. Well, after I was almost completely cleaned up, I ended up with another pump right at the very end. Just brought him in. I'd already even put my camera turned it off so I had to turn it back on to get this picture right at the end but that's how the day ended about five minutes ago there's the pump from earlier and there's the second one <laughs>